Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're just going to be going over some basic keyboard shortcuts that you can use to really drive your editing forward and speed yourself up as an editor. Um, if you ever want to know what a keyboard shortcut is then just go into the Final Cut Pro menu, uh, Commands and Customize and you can see all of the default ones and you can also change them if you were to uh, duplicate and make a new keyboard um, set but the actual default keyboard uh, Customization cannot be altered uh, without creating a new set basically Okay, so If we just uh, take a look at this sequence Now we go into a timeline and one of the first things we're going to do is just a couple of trim Options, so if we select this clip and then press play or L Hit the spacebar If we now hold down alt um, Which is the option key sorry for my English and then press the close bracket button you can see it's gonna very simply and very quickly trim that edit point the end point to the playhead position what you can also do if we just undo that command Z is let's now play backwards with the J key if we now hold on the option and the close bracket sorry the open bracket key you can see it's going to trim the start point to that playhead. So that is just a very quick uh, tip to speed up some of your trimming. You can also trim to a selection. So let's say we didn't like the duration of this clip. So we can press I to set an in point and O to set an out point. And then hold down option and press backslash. Or yeah, back, I think backslash. backslash. And you can see it's going to trim the clip um, to the selected region that we just created. Let's undo that again. If we wanted to split this clip in half so we could maybe throw in a clip in the middle, you can just select the clip and then press Command uh, B. And that is the same as using the blade tool, except we can do that within the select tool. Uh, to save us having to change the blade tool and clicking, we can just press Command B and that splits the clip by itself. If we wanted to split this clip's components, maybe if it was a compound clip, but in this instance it's just a video and some audio, we can press Command Shift G and that is going to separate out all the different elements. Let's say um, these we made these two clips a compound clip. We just right click and press New Compound Clip. The shortcut for that is Alt G, sorry, Option G. Now press Command Shift G. You can see this is going to separate out the different elements. And if we press it again with multiple items selected, you can see it's separated all um, them two out as well. So you could actually select every clip in the sequence. And if we were to now press Command Shift G, you can see it's going to not let us. If we press Command Shift. make sure the clips have actually got audio streams then it will let us separate out all the different audio streams from the videos now the other thing I just want to really quickly cover is when we're importing media from the uh, event library obviously you've got several different options to add media you can see we've got a um, connect we've got an insert and we've got an append now the way they work is if we were to do an insert edit remember we've got this clip selected let's just park our um, play ahead here we're going to press the up arrow key to go to the previous edit point we're going to click the connect and you can see that's going to add that clip to the timeline or the storyline we were to press the uh, insert, you can see it's going to slot it in between the um, them two clips. We were to press the append, then it's going to add it to the end of the sequence, uh, which is a really handy thing to do. So you can very quickly uh, make some selections, maybe even select multiple clips by holding down shift, and then you can do an append edit, uh, which is the shortcut is E, so we can just press the E key and you can see it added all of them clips to the end of the sequence, which is really quick. You can see the um, shortcuts are Q, W and E, which are all in a nice line for you. Now, one of the most popular keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 7 was the overwrite edit. You would park your playhead at an edit point, 
Um, or let's say we wanted this clip to end here and we wanted to put this clip in. Let's just very quickly set an in and an out. And we wanted to put a clip in the primary storyline. You can still perform an overhead, um, an overwrite edit, but the, the way you access it is from the edit menu. And you can see that there is an overwrite option, which is D. So it's below your three main keyboard shortcuts of Q, W, and E. So if we just come out of there, we've got our range selected. And if we just press D, you can see that it, it has overwritten that clip over into the main storyline over the original material that was there. So this has been very fast paced. Uh, these are just some basic keyboard shortcuts that I just wanted to go over. Uh, maybe go through this video again with a notepad and uh, hope you enjoy these. This footage has been from my upcoming short film called If Looks Could Kill, which was written by Gary Kittle, and I'm really excited to share this with you soon. It's going to be in black and white because I'm just so artistic. Thanks for watching.